me today. I'm very excited to be sharing this cute little card set with you. I'm calling this a notch envelope pull-out card because this card that you see here that I've used some cute products from Neat and Tangle to create, the card features a really cute little pull string that you pull it out of the envelope and it's this really adorable little card set and I think it's so much fun to create and it's also perfect for kids to recreate as well because it's a very simple and easy card design. So I hope you'll stick around and see how I created this card. I'm first bringing out the My Favorite Nut stamp set from Neat and Tangled. This was one of their most recent releases and I think it is so adorable. It's perfect for love themed or Valentine's Day cards. I'm inking it up in my Misty stamping tool with a little bit of Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Dye Ink. I'm pressing this down onto some Nina Solar Weight cardstock and I'm going to get started on my Copic coloring. For the Copic coloring, I'm using browns for the squirrels. I'm going to show you the coloring for only one of the squirrels and then the rest of them I colored exactly the same so I'm not going to go ahead and bother showing all three of them. I started off with my lightest color and then I'm blending in my darkest color and my mid-tone and then blending that all out with my lightest tone. So I went from lightest then darkest medium to light. I used some really light colors on the tail and the belly and I'm bringing in a little flesh color on the cheeks just to brighten up the pink area on their cheeks. I used a bit of blue to color in the envelope and I did end up using a little bit of pink on the acorn of the envelope. For the acorns that one of these little squirrels are holding, I'm using some YR markers, although I did use a Y28 on the bottom color because I felt that would kind of give this a nice yellow tone to the coloring. And then I used some browns to go ahead and color the tops of the acorns. Once I colored my images, I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut them out with some fine tip scissors, but there are coordinating dies for this stamp set, so you can go ahead and use those if you have them. So after I created my little critters, it's time to work on building the envelopes that the cards will go into. Now I found the easiest way to create this envelope is by first starting off with a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So this is basically a top folding A2 size card that I've cut from some pattern paper, but you can use cardstock, and I folded it and turned it into a card, just like I would as if I was really going to turn this into a card. However, I'm going to take this circle notch border die from my memory box and I'm going to line this up on the opposite end of the fold. So I'm basically putting it down to where the bottom of the card would be. I'm going to line that up in my Big Shot and then I'm going to carefully lay my cutting plate back on top and I'll run this through my Big Shot machine. Once I remove the die from the die cutting machine, you can see we're left with this cute little notch in the card and I'm going to go ahead and turn this into the envelope by taking a bit of double-sided tape this is quarter inch double sided tape and go ahead and line this up onto both sides of my card here. After I've added the double sided adhesive onto the card, I'm going to remove the backing and fold the other end of the card on top of that double sided tape. So this again is very simple and perfect for kids to recreate so there's no extra folds or anything that you need to do to create the envelope. It makes it super easy. To finish off the card, this is totally optional, but I'm taking a Copic marker that matched my paper really well. I'm just running this along the edges of the paper just to kind of mask any white areas. I just felt this finished it off really nicely. Next, I want to go ahead and create the little postage stamp label that's going to go onto the envelope. So I'm taking the Sizzix Textures Impression Plate and the silicone rubber mat. I'm going to line these up onto tab one of my Big Shot machine. Once I've got them lined up in my machine, I'm taking this postage stamp die cut that I've already cut with one of the larger nesting dies in the die set and I'm taking the very next smallest postage stamp die and I'm going to line this up right in the center. Now because I'm not using a cutting plate and instead using the silicone mat and the impressions plate, this is going to emboss the design of the postage stamp into the postage stamp die that we cut with the larger die cut. So you can see we get this great little frame and it's got this really nice debossed edge to it. It's really gorgeous and really great for creating some simple finishing touches to a die cut. So I attached that down directly onto my envelope and here are a couple examples of how I finished off the envelopes. I'll go ahead and show you how I did this but you can see here I've got a couple examples of how I used these really great urban uppercase dies to create the names of some of my friends which I'm going to be sending these cards to. These uh, urban uppercase dies are really great. They're a really fine detailed font. It's a great thin sans serif font. It's really pretty. And I love that this will match with almost any type of card design. So I think this is a really great die set to have in your stash. Perfect for die cutting to create names and little sentiments. Just, just really handy overall. So I'm going to go ahead and die cut the urban uppercase from some red cardstock. This is Simon Says Stamp Lipstick Red. 
And in this particular envelope, I'm going to be spelling the word Ellen. Ellen is one of my friends. She blogs over at Crafty Ellen H. So you can actually check out all of her cards. She creates some really cute and fabulous things. She's on the Newton's Nook design team, and she's really talented. So I'm going to go ahead and spell her name out on this envelope. I'm using the urban uppercase letters, and I'm just laying these down onto the envelope, and I've applied them onto the envelope using some PPA matte adhesive. You can use any type of liquid glue you prefer. I just really like the PPA matte because it dries nice and clear, very similar to Multimedium by Ranger. After I've applied all of my little letters down, I'm taking one of the little hearts from the Neat and Tangled My Favorite Nut stamp set. I'll stamp that down underneath Ellen's name. On the envelope that I made for Heidi, I actually stamped it to the right of her name because I had a little bit of extra space on that side. And then I colored in the little hearts with some Copic markers, and I also added some sparkle onto the hearts using a Spectrum Noir clear overlay pen. I also want to create a card base to put my little squirrels onto. So I'm taking some of the smaller images from that My Favorite Nut stamp set, and I'm going to go ahead and start stamping these down onto a little card base that I've created from some lipstick red cardstock. Now this card base is slightly smaller than an A2 size card. This card base is about 4 and 3 quarter inches tall by about 3 and a half inches wide. And I'm stamping all those little images around this card base. Really adds some nice interest to the card without being busy, and it'll still allow my little critters to stand on top nicely. Now to create the pull element for this card, I'm going to punch a hole into the top middle section of this card panel. I'm going to punch it through both the front and the back side of the card. Now I'm taking some baker's twine, and I'm going to use four strands of baker's twine. You can use as many strands to be as thick or as thin as you'd like. But I'm going to cut four of them together, and then once I've cut them all, I'm going to fold them in half, and I'm going to thread them through the hole of our card. Once I've threaded them through, I'll go ahead and pull the ends of the baker's twine into that loop, and that creates a nice tight little knot for our string to be able to attach down onto our card. And this creates a nice pull element that people can use to pull out the card from the envelope. So next, I added my little squirrels onto the card bases using some foam tape. And now I'm taking one of the sentiments from the My Favorite Nut stamp set. This one says, you are my favorite, and I think it is so cute. This is what makes these cards perfect for not only Valentine's Day, but they can be used year-round. So I think this is a great example of a card that can be used throughout the year, not just on Valentine's Day. Love cards are something that I think people love getting. And it lets someone know that, hey, I love you, and I really want to send you a note to let you know that really picks someone up, especially on a day that they're not really feeling all that great, and just brings a smile to everyone's face. So here's a look at the three cards that I've created using all those images that I colored a little bit earlier in the video. You can see how quickly and easily these came together and how adorable they are. These squirrels with that white outline really pop off the page, and that cute little sentiment just really adds to the fun feel of, the, of this card set. And then, of course, the envelopes, these are so adorable, and I love that the different pattern papers make them feel so different, but yet they all match really well together. And again, you could change up the colors of these to create things. If you wanted to do something maybe for more of a guyish theme, you could go ahead and change up the colors and have it be a little bit more masculine. You can also see how easily these cards fit inside the envelopes, and then to get the card out, you just pull on the little string, and the card pops out, and it's so adorable. So I hope this has given you some inspiration on creating some cute love themed cards for friends and family. I also hope that it's given you some inspiration on using some of these new products such as the Neat and Tangled My Favorite Nut and the Circle Notch and Urban Uppercase Letter die sets from Memory Box. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below or over at my blog. And you can also head on over to my blog to get more information on these cards including still pictures and products used. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for more weekly inspiration. Here are a couple more videos you might find interesting. And you can find me on social media at Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, as well as my blog. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again soon.